This is madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God, Monica, don't do it! Thank you. I'm Rachel. It's so annoying when I put Emma on the phone to talk with my friends. What? Well, some things are just hard to say to your face. Hello, teeny embryos. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Phoebe Buffay. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm hoping to be your uterus for the next nine months. <laughs> you should know that we're doing this for Frank and Alice. Who you know, you've been there. <laughs> um, you know, they want you so much. So when you guys get in there, really grab on. Okay, and, and I promise that I'll keep you safe and warm until, you know, you're ready to have them take you home. So. Okay. Oh, and also, um, next time you see me, if I'm screaming, don't worry, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, it must be really hard to hear. I'll tell you, it's a lot easier having three babies playing bring it into noise, bring it into funk on your bladder. <laughs> I am so tired of being pregnant. Ugh. I can't sleep, except on my back, which hurts, so I can't sleep. Ugh. The only happiness I get is from a cup of coffee, which of course is decaf, because, oh, I'm pregnant! <laughs> Phoebs, you, you want a cookie? Thank you so much. So, uh, Phoebes, honey, how are those mood swings coming? I haven't really had any yet. I can't believe I'm gonna have a party! <laughs> so great! A party! Oh, yay! <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. Pop in. Get ready for the smoothest ride of your life. We will give you ten dollars. Listen, I'm sorry about before. Do you have anything here for ten dollars? Uh, yes, I have these two rather beautiful five dollar bills. <laughs> I'll give you one dollar for them. Action! Cut, cut! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. Yeah, well, don't be. Okay, that helps. And action. I know you botched that operation on purpose. I can't prove it yet, but when I do, you'll be going to jail for murder. I don't care if you are my brother. I'm not your brother. What about my children, Drake, huh? No! 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 believe how much I love her. I can't get enough of her. Like right now, I miss her. I actually miss her. You know, that's, that's her. Hi, Mike's place. Hey, it's Mike. Oh, that was fast. Oh, uh, no, she's not here yet. You know, I think I'm just gonna take off and break up with her over the phone. No, you can't do that. Oh, come on, Mike, strap on a pair. <laughs> Why don't you just tell her that we got back together? You know, women appreciate honesty. We also appreciate gentle spanking once in a while, just FYI. One more thing. There might be a picture of Precious on my coffee table. Her name's Precious? 
Is she a pure breed or did you pick her up at the pound? <laughs> Anyway, I just want to give you a heads up. Okay. Oh, and you know, if she gets upset, just scratch her tummy and give her a liver snap. <laughs> Hi, I'm Precious. Who are you? I'm, I'm Phoebe. Phoebe? Mike's ex-girlfriend, Phoebe, the love of his life. That Phoebe? Enchanté. <laughs> I'm not letting you leave until you tell me what's going on here. I mean, are you guys getting back together or something? All right. Uh, Susie, can I call you Susie? <laughs> My name is Precious. I can't say that. <laughs> um, Susie, I'm going to be straight with you. Mike and I are back together. And um, unfortunately, that effectively ends your relationship with him and he's very sorry about that and wishes you the best of luck in all you learn you stink of cigarettes do you think monica's gonna be able to smell it are you kidding that woman has the nose of a bloodhound <laughs> and the breasts of a greek goddess thieves oh i know what we can do we could set Ross and Rachel up on horrible dates so that they'll realize how good they are together. Ooh, that's a great plan. Yeah. You know what the best part of it is? I get to do my plan laugh. <laughs> Not so loud. We don't want to wake up... Uh... Oh, Joey. Hey. hey. So excited. I just set Rachel up with the worst guy tonight. All right. Who is he? Well, it's this guy I used to massage. And by massage, I mean hold down so he wouldn't turn over and flash me. <laughs> what if we don't find up somebody else? We'll just tell her the date's off, but we don't tell Ross, and he goes to the restaurant and gets stood up. Ooh, ooh I hear that's bad. So this is great. Well, Rachel's going to have a terrible date. Ross gets stood up, and then they'll realize how good they have it together. Ah, uh, yes, the plan. Ho, ho, ho. It's not Santa's plan. No, it's... <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not that fun. No, I think we killed it. Two, three, four. song sing along <laughs> and someday i'll tell you about the time i stabbed the cop Phoebe, what he stabbed me first <laughs> oh thank god <laughs> you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Blar, blar, blar. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. I miss you guys. Merry Christmas, you guys. I can't believe what I'm hearing here. I can't believe what I'm hearing here. What? I said you had what? a... I said you had... What if, um, if he calls his own cell phone to, to find out who found it, and I answer and we start talking, and we fell in love? I mean, wouldn't that be a great story? Kind of like a fairy tale for the digital age. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound great. Oh, I'm gonna get the phone. What? Wait, what? Why? Why do you get the story? I don't know. I haven't been out on a date in so long. Phoebe, you had a date three days ago. That wasn't a date. That was that was just friends getting together. You're having sex. Okay. Okay, see, I get the phone. No way, no way. You just broke up with Tag a week ago. Yeah. And until now, I didn't think I would love again. Nice try. Well, hey, wait, wait. How do we fairly decide who gets the phone? I don't know. <laughs> well, um, 
Maybe we could, uh... Aha! Too slow! <laughs> <laughs> Too cocky! Hi, Phoebes. How are you? Good. Um, Phoebe, remember when we were in the coffee house, we decided that I was going to keep the, uh, the cute guy's cell phone? Yeah. And remember how I said I was going to keep it in my purse so that if it rang, I could just pick it up? Yeah. Right? Um, and then do you remember going into my purse and stealing the phone? <laughs> Now you lost me. You stole the phone. No, I didn't. No? So you're saying that if I called it, it wouldn't ring? No. Mm. Okay. But while you dial, let me show you the features of my new ringing handbag. Mm. <laughs> oh, it does work. Oh, my God. I bet that's him. My digital fairy tale is about to begin. <laughs> it's right. Would you stop doing that? Hello? Yes, I'm the one who found your phone. Phoebe, you can't shut Dude. on a call. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you could pick it up tonight, say, 8.30 at, at my apartment. It's, um, it's um, 5 Morton Street, apartment 14. Um, and then maybe, you know, after we could grab a bite to eat or whatever. Okay, okay, I'll see you then. Bye. You do know that I will be here when he comes over. Oh, and how will you know what time to come over? You just said it. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey! <laughs> Who is it? Hi, it's Tom. I'm here to pick up the phone. Oh. Well, why do you get to answer the door? Well, why shouldn't I? Because it's my apartment. Well, then I get to give him the cell phone. Okay, good luck explaining all the calls to China. <laughs> Hi. Wow, how long were we arguing for? <laughs> uh, you're not the man who left the cell phone. No, that's my assistant. It's, is he coming? Um, no. Could you, could you, uh, um, Give us one second. Sure. We'll be right back, sir. Sure. Well, what do we do? I don't know. Can you believe this? We were waiting for a hot guy, and then an even hotter one shows up. I know. <laughs> what? Rachel, listen. If you let me have him, then I will really owe you one. All right. All right, Phoebe, I will let you have him. But you owe me. You owe me big. So, which one of you lovely ladies am I going to take to dinner, huh? Oh, that'd be me. Oh, sir. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank okay. you. 